signing of agreements between India and the United Arab Emirates is underway. Remember, Prime Minister Modi arrived in uh, Abu Dhabi a short while ago. They're signing key agreements uh, between the two nations. This is uh, taking place uh, on uh, Prime Minister Modi's second visit to uh, the UAE. The first one came back in 2015. Uh, let's take you through some of the memoranda of understanding that are being signed between the two countries. One is uh, for technical cooperation in the rail sector. Uh, it's been signed between the Ministry of Railways in India and the Federal Transport Authority Land and Maritime of the United Arab Emirates. It's aimed at cooperation in infrastructure, especially in the railways. Now, uh, the MOU will facilitate the development of joint projects, knowledge sharing, joint research and technology transfer. And uh, it envisages the formation of a joint working group for institutionalizing the cooperation mechanism. Now, among those agreements is also uh, one uh, to deepen bilateral cooperation in the field of finance. Uh, the MOU between the Bombay Stock Exchange, or the BSC, and the Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange, or ADX, uh, is also being signed and exchanged. It aims at enhancing cooperation between both the countries in the financial services industry. The main focus of uh, this memorandum of understanding is information exchange, uh, the exchange of experts and training for mutual benefit of both countries. It's also hoped that it will facilitate investment in financial markets by investors from both the countries. An MOU between the government of Jammu and Kashmir and DP World was also signed to establish multimodal logistics parks and a hub in Jammu comprising warehouses and specialized storage solutions. Five key pacts have been signed uh, between a government to government, between India and the United Arab Emirates. Uh, this uh, took place, of course, between, or rather I should say, in the presence uh, of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan of uh, Abu Dhabi. He's the Crown Prince and the Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces. Uh, these uh, agreements are being signed currently in uh, Abu Dhabi, where the Indian Prime Minister has uh, just arrived a short while ago. Now, the fields or sectors that uh, these MOUs, these five key government-to-government -government sectors, uh, or rather MOUs, have been signed in the sectors of uh, energy, railways, manpower, and financial services. So I already uh, took you through um, the MOUs as far as the railways go and the financial sector. Let's take a look at also an MOU between the Indian uh, Consortium and uh, ADNOC, which was signed for the acquisition of 10% participating interest in the offshore lower Zakhum concession. That's uh, one of the other MOUs. This will uh, be for 40 years from 2018 to 2057. There will also be a cooperation in the field of manpower. The government of India and the government of the UAE signed an MOU that uh, aims to institutionalize the collaborative administration of uh, contractual employment of Indian workers in the United Arab Emirates. The aim of uh, this particular one, remember uh, a number of uh, expatriate uh, workers from India are currently employed in the UAE. This MOU uh, is going to work on both sides. It uh, is aimed at integrating uh, labor-related e-platforms for ending any existing malpractices and to combat uh, issues like trafficking and uh, also to organize collaborative programs for education and awareness of contractual workers between both countries. So there you have it, live visuals coming your way from Abu Dhabi where uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is on the second leg of his West Asia tour uh, which involves uh, stops in three countries. Remember it all started in Amman in Jordan where he uh, uh, transited through on his way to Ramallah in Palestine. He arrived in Palestine earlier today. He was there for a few hours. He's now made his way across to Abu Dhabi where uh, he was received by the Crown Prince uh, of uh, the Emirate. He's uh, currently of course uh, overseeing the signing of 
MOUs uh, between the two countries. Let me go across to my colleague Nishita Virendra who is in Abu Dhabi. She's been tracking the latest for us uh, from the Emirates itself. Uh, Nishita, uh, five key pacts signed already between uh, India and the United Arab Emirates only goes to show that uh, the relationship seems to be moving from strength to strength. Absolutely. Uh, something that uh, experts as well as representatives from the government have said time and again that uh, they are very eagerly and in a very fast-paced manner looking to expand the relationship uh, between um, UAE and India beyond oil and uh, beyond security and something more than that should be acquired for the relationship to get strong. So today, five government-to-government -government MOUs have been signed uh, between Prime Minister Narendra Modi as well as H.H. Sheikh uh, Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who is the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. And and uh, some crucial highlights that we can see, one is related to manpower. Uh, the four, four, four sectors uh, in which these five MOUs have been signed are the energy sector, railways, manpower and finance. And as far as manpower goes, for long it has been discussed in hush-hush tones as to how there is this entire labor issue going on. Many Indians who are brought in uh, to UAE and uh, who are brought in against their will, who are promised uh, a certain lifestyle, but they get uh, very degrading lifestyles here. Their passports are seized, their documents are taken away, and they're forced to work like bonded laborers. So it seems like that has been discussed, which is a huge step forward for India because UAE is not very comfortable discussing such issues, which could criticize them at some level on an international uh, on an international platform. But it seems like that ice has been broken by the prime minister, and hence an MOU has been signed in which the two countries will work together to address issues of malpractices when it comes to labor, to combat trafficking issues, and also to have uh, programs that will help in the education and awareness of these workers who are brought into the country. Apart from that, it has been signed in the railway sector as well, there, where there will be exchange of ideas, of knowledge sharing, of uh, research, of hey. technology, as, uh, and joint projects will also be developed. So, uh, a lot to look forward to for India and UAE together. Absolutely. Nishita, thanks, sir for bringing us up to speed on developments from Abu Dhabi. We'll, uh, of course, get back to you tomorrow. A lot's lined up on the Prime Minister's agenda and uh, Nishita will be tracking those developments for us from uh, the UAE itself.